Hi, I'm Cam Fuller. I'm Matt Olson. And we are down at the Fringe reviewing uh, plays and eating a lot of food. Hey, Matt, have you had the um, elk poutine yet? I did not know there was elk poutine, and now I am definitely going to get some before I go back to the office. <laughs> so there you go. Good. I have to try it too, but uh, I'll try some of yours. <laughs> so we've both seen a lot of Fringe shows at this point, and there's been a lot of really good stuff. Uh, I don't know about you if you have one that stands out, but I got an easy favorite for me is uh, Sex, but I'm Canadian. Uh, it's this really excellent one-man show. Uh, it's a kind of a Stuart McLean parody, but it's just brilliant. The writing matches and the cadence of the delivery matches, it's just all spot on. It's just an excellent, excellent piece. It's always nice to get one of those. Yeah, it's just by far my standout show so far. Five stars. Five stars, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. I gave four to Pack Animals. Um, it was uh, really funny. It's very adult, so it gets pretty vulgar. It's about uh, two kind of Girl Scouts who are lost in the forest, and uh, they kind of meet each other. They're from different packs, and uh, they get their shots in at mansplaining with some songs and some outrageous uh, uh, set work. It's uh, well worth seeing if you're in the mood. Um, local production too, so lots of laughs, good message. And you know, if, if you're not in the mood for something as theatery, uh, Jeff Newman's Mind Games, the, the Mentalist, he also does an excellent show. Uh, it matches the audience too, so if you got a lot of uh, adults in there, have had a few drinks, he, uh, he gets in with the humor, so it's, it's lots of fun for cool. sure. So 33 plays, on for 11 days. Hopefully the weather holds, just heard a bit of thunder, so uh, we're gonna eat, either go eat something or go to another play, we're not sure. Elk poutine first, plays second. <laughs> right on.